Hey guys, Eric Cagle, Popsky Pro Staff. Uh, we're going to dye some minutes today and show you the process that we use. Uh, you guys have seen us dyeing chartreuse minutes forever now. We're going to use some red today. We, we really use uh, you know, a lot of different colors, orange, red, blue, chartreuse. We're going to do some red today and, and show you guys how well it works because it, it really works well. Uh, we're going to go over the process right here with you real quick. And like I said, we're going to use red. We're just going to take this red dye open it up we're going to pour the whole bottle into our, our dye bucket here then i'm going to fill this bottle up with three bottles of water out of my minnow container here one there's two There's three. As always, you got to make sure that you have an aerator on your on your dye bucket. Uh, those fish will live just fine as long as the water's cool and as long as you have aeration on them. Now that our dye bucket's ready and we, we've got the aerator, the aerator on it, uh, we're gonna go ahead and add our minnows to it. It's gonna give me a good scoop of minnows. There's there's a couple dozen minnows right there. I'm gonna put them directly into that dye bucket. We'll do a couple more here. We're gonna we're gonna set a uh, we're gonna set a timer. I'm gonna let these these minnows go for 35 minutes, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set a timer for it. That way, I know how long it's been, and we'll come back to you and show you the finished product. We've had these minnows in this red uh, fire dye for about 35 minutes now. We set a timer, timer just went off. We're gonna kinda continue to show you guys the process. It's still bubbling there. You can see those minnows in there, nice and, and red. We're gonna rinse them off, then we're gonna put them in a clear container uh, here where you guys can see you know, the finished product of dyeing these minnows. All right, so a 35 minute soak with red fire dye on these minnows here. We've taken them, we've rinsed them off, and we've put them in a clear container where you can kind of see the outcome. And as you can see, I mean, you know, they're, they're red. Uh, that, that dye definitely does a good job. Uh, we're gonna take some, some regular minnows that haven't been dyed here shortly and put in with those. That, that way it gives you a perspective of how well this dye works. All right, now, so just like we said earlier for some perspective, we're going to add some regular shiners uh, in this same mixture where you guys can see the, the difference in contrast between the minnows that we've dyed red and, and just a regular shiner. So here's the finished product of, of our red fire dye minnows mixed in with some regular shiners that we did not dye just you know for perspective for you to see uh, and as you can see there's a big difference in contrast between the ones we dyed and just the regular minnows and you know that's what Posky fire dye does it takes a color that those fish are keying in on on that certain day that you're on the water and allows you to present them with a live bait of that color you know I mean it doesn't get much better than that we're gonna let this video roll for a few seconds here and uh, let you guys see these minnows just interacting there in that clear water. Uh, the ones that we died and the ones that we didn't die uh, to let you see the difference. Uh, you can do your own minnows just like this. If you follow the instructions on the bottle, you'll get the same results that we do. Live fire dye minnows.